looking for the sports channel, Gabby. Alrighty. Well, happy Weenie Wednesday. We had the best Wednesday of the year, and it's not just me. We closed about uh, just about $2,000 of profit between all accounts, so a really good green day. And not just me, all of our a lot of our Weenie Trade subs did a really good job today, given because the day trading was on fire today, but mostly the swing trading was really good today. We A lot of the stuff, the stocks that were really popping off today, Boeing, Disney was in the game plan a while ago. Google is in the game plan. Given Sunday, over 1,800. Spotify, we said Spotify from 280. We'll talk about all these today. It was a really good, explosive, really fun day. Just everything I touched today just turned to gold. Uh, it was just just uh, one of those easy days where every time you enter the trade, boom, it immediately goes in your favor. We were able to let our winners ride. And there's a lot of great lessons in, the, in today's video. So let's Let's uh, be sure to learn from it so you can uh, profit a little bit more too for, with your trading account. Our first trade of the day was on AMD. And AMD, if we check our daily chart, we're approaching all-time highs. And pre-market, we we're pushing up really nicely after some news saying that Amazon's going to use their micro trips. I don't really know exactly what the news is, but I know that it's combined with it's positive news combined with a technical catalyst that can push AMD through all-time highs. So this is a really this is a good setup that we're really comfortable in. So we really wanted to size up. And this morning I went ahead. I said I love AMD a lot, just as much as Disney, which we'll talk about in a bit. But AMD really liked this trade. I even bought some shares pre-market. But we went ahead and got one feeler contract, just over 93, first thing in the morning. Got a nice good push up. I was looking to add, but I wanted to see what type of red candle would come in. And boom, massive smackdown. Boom, after that red candle, I know where I can place my stop. I can place my stop underneath 92.44. I was going to give it a lot more wiggle room, just about 92. Boom, we slam down. We start to curl up. I go ahead and add to AMD, just over 93. So I have two contracts in now at 93. And look, a typical setup, I like to add over the initial morning high. I added just over 93.66, and I just market ordered into these contracts. And then boom, we got this extended push up. I went ahead and peeled profits right at about 94.82. Boom, we got a nice good push up, pull back. I got tagged out of a second contract right there. Once we double topped and then broke this low, I went ahead and got flat on my third contract. But I still have uh, debit spreads riding, and we just rode those for the rest of the day. But AMD, nice good revenue trade of $210 to start off the day. Later in the day, we came into the former breakout area. That's right about here. Look, right at that breakout of the initial morning. That's right about here. And we extend the line. Boom, we nailed the low right about here. We nailed the low. And then boom, we get this nice good push up. I went ahead and took another $10 profit. But that's just a nice little dip buy trade, little scalp trade. So AMD, really explosive move. We are still swing trading AMD. And we have a little bit of minus open PL because it started dropping all day. We also have those 13 shares, but AMD, not a lot of risk in the in this trade going forward. It's like 40 or $50 of risk. So it's basically at the max loss. But AMD. Looking good, looking good to continue. Maybe a little bit uh, bearish short term because we're selling off and struggling a little bit, but looking good. Our next trade of the day was on Disney. And in pre-market, Disney was upgraded by some bank. And I was looking at Disney, it's pretty close to that 150 mark. And so we got this nice good consolidation. I went ahead and anticipated along on Disney just over the initial morning high. This is a five minute chart. Let's go to a one minute fast time frame chart. So you look at this initial morning high. We tested it twice, couldn't get through. Once we get through, look at the volume. It starts to increase. There's a little bit more participation and interest once Disney starts going up. Boom. We don't have to be, you don't have to be the first one of the party. You don't have to catch this low wick. You don't have to be the last one of the party buying the top, but you have to join the party as it's starting to go up. And that's exactly what we did. We went ahead and bought one Disney call contract just over there over uh, the initial morning high. We even added over 150. Boom, got a nice good push up. I took uh, some profits off on the table right there. And the next contract I just held for as long as I possibly could have. So we took a small partial right away. Let's go to the day trading account. And we were able to capture about $78 profit on Disney. On the second contract was the big runner contract. We came out of that one right at about 151.20. But then later in the day, we were still swing trading our Disney, still swing trading it. We have $85 of open PL total on the day for this account, uh, $289. So Disney doing really well. We have tons of other spreads, but later in the day, Disney got this nice good triangle pattern. Look at this. We have a flat top resistance, right? That 152.60. I was watching it. And then right about here, I was like, watch for the breakout on Disney. I went ahead and even um, added some shares. 
and those shares are doing just fine um, after hours. But Disney, we added shares right over there. Got a nice good push up, extended push. On this red candle, I came out of one of my call spreads just as we made new all-time highs. But Disney, I'm expecting to continue targeting about the 155, 157.50, maybe as high as 160 this week, but probably 160 by next week. Disney is doing a nice good bull flag into the end of the day. We talked about Disney all day today. I said many times, hey, I'm in Disney, I'm in Disney. It's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty good. So Disney is definitely one of um, the better trades of the day, especially holding and having a good position coming into it because of the daily chart. We just had this bull flag, we popped. The yesterday was a little bit of an indecisive day, but today was the gap up, gap and go for Disney and closing at the highs. Let's see where Disney goes from here on out. In terms of the swing trades, as you remember, Boeing was in the game plan on Sunday to go long over 220. Yesterday, as you remember, we had a small little stop out. Yesterday was a minus $360 red day. It was a little bit redder because I, I decided to size up, but be due to good trading results. And so we're having a little bit bigger of a red day yesterday of minus 360. But today to $2,000, that, that 360 doesn't hurt so bad anymore. But Boeing, we have this nice good bull flag. We started to pop it today over 216.60. I was looking to add to Boeing, but I already had the sizable Boeing position from earlier. Um, as you remember, yesterday we did the ghetto spread. And that ghetto spread yielded us another $245 today. And Boeing, we just had this nice good push up. I was telling the weenie trades people, oh, Boeing's looking good over 216.50. Then boom, we come back to test 216.50. Look, quick, quick down, comes back. And then look, Boeing just later in the day formed this nice good top at about 219.80, just in front of 220. A sending triangle. I said, look for the pop on Boeing. And even right there, I was like, I was even trying to add. I'd, I'd used all my buying power on Spotify, which we'll talk about later. But boom, nice good entry right there move up pull back uh, we're some weenies were a little bit uh scared about this pullback said fear not we're still like chilling in the uh, old supply zone now new demand zone boom we get a nice good extended push up pull back push up pull back push up pull back i took profits on one of my debit spreads right at about once we started coming down underneath 224 so right about there so Boeing still swing trading, still uh, holding just uh, strong. We do have the Boeing 245, 250 calls. And remember, we added to this today, but we, we um, it's worth 60 right now. If Boeing is above 250 by the 18th, this $60 will turn into $500. We've got two of them, so $60, $120 into 1,000. So still riding Boeing, looking good after hours because we closed above the old supply zone, which is now a new demand zone. And so that's Boeing given Sunday to you. Not today, but given Sunday. Google was also in the game plan this Sunday because of the bull flag. So we won't go fully into the technicals, but Google, nice, good push up. We said yesterday, even intraday, that the dip buy is at the 1790 slash 1800 level. And Google, nice, good push up all day. I went ahead and took profits on my debit spread uh, that I mentioned yesterday right there at about 1830. And we did, once we started to form a little rising wedge where look, we're making higher highs with no fall through. Google has such low volume. It's just technicals don't even really need to work. Just buy it and hold it. Uh, not financial advice, but uh, there, Google as once we broke this trend line and look at the volume, no volume, almost no volume right here. So slight little bit of volume. I went ahead and came out of one of my debit spreads that we mentioned to get. And we are still riding one $10 wide debit spread. If Google can get to $2,000 a share by the 18th of December, 2020. So Google is given Sunday. And what else was given to you Sunday was Spotify. I've got a lot of people asking me about Spotify. I said, you're going to be asking me about Spotify when it's at 3.30. We talked about Spotify all the time. Every single day this week, we sat, mentioned in the game plan over 280. Boom, we went long at 280. We added at 285. We added at 290. Had to go through one pullback red day. But boom, it was off to the races today. We peeled off one of our uh, spreads right in front of 300. So that's right about up here. Then boom, we get an extended push through 300. I sold another contract right at about 308. Then boom, we get another push up, pull back. And then boom, I nailed the high of the day right at 330. You can see it live at Weenie Trades Live. Boom, we turned $100 into $800 on Spotify, all because of the game plan given Sunday before it even made the move. So be sure to check out the game plan if you feel like you're missing out. Otherwise, talk to me at Weenie Trades Live. Ask what positions I'm in. Maybe 
It can give you an idea. Ask me about your positions. Maybe there's a better way to manage it. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas here. But everybody in Weenie Trades Live is making really good money and they're having a ton of time. Be sure to join the Discord chat. We're talking about, you know, how much fun we're having, how much money we're making. And uh, yeah, it's just a blast. It's a blast to see. We got people coming over $25,000 from the Spotify play. We got people having $1,000 green days from Spotify, Boeing, riding everything. And um, we got we got a Tesla crew over there that are, that are constantly watching Tesla to see if it's going to gap up or gap down. We we drew up our little bubbles uh, based on the probability of gapping up or down. High chance of gap up, you know, if it closes above the 370. It's all just standard deviations, nothing special. But you can ask these questions here at Weenie Trades Live. So be sure to take advantage of it while you still can. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. See ya.